Dang. It's gonna make my rag all dirty. Okay, so I've decided that I like this painting, I like the idea, but I'll do it another time. Instead, I want to work on that new series, my new street art cartoon series. And so I'm going to reclaim this canvas after I wipe off some of the accumulated dust. I'll just... Ooh. It's one of those mornings, the kind of morning where you've been up for two minutes and it feels like two days. If I can just make it to my coffee, I'll be all right. It's in sight. Come on, Garfield, you can make it. You can make it. So close and yet so far. Just make me a bed I can lie on And OD, don't touch Pookie I don't like you near my stuff If you do that one more time You're going to orbit, you stupid mutt Okay, cray cray I hate Monday hey. OD, go away Let's go back to Sunday Okay, cray cray I hate Monday OD, go away Let's go back to Sunday Okay, cray cray I hate Monday OD, go away Let's go back to Sunday Okay Cray cray, yeah. I hate Monday, OD, go away, yeah. let's go back to Sunday. Normal being a nap, he's not someone I'm jealous of. He might think that he's so cute, but his face looks like a butt. I'm the kitty of the party, John wouldn't let you harm me. And no, I'm not fat, just too much awesome in my body. Look at Arlene, so in love, but honestly, who wouldn't be? Cause getting to hold Garfield is like holding jewelry. Work on myself. I don't think I'm able, I'm just gonna lay here with lasagna, kick OD off the table. Ah. Okay, cray cray, I hate Monday, hey. OD, go away, let's go back to Sunday. Ah. Okay, cray cray, I hate Monday, OD, go away, let's go back to Sunday. Ah. Okay, cray cray, yeah. I hate Monday, uh. OD, go away, let's go back to Sunday. Ah. Okay, cray cray, yeah. Records are these discs that play music. You see, I was born under a bad sign. Got a reason to cry. The bad signs I was born under fill up the sky. Yeah, I'm a blues cat. And I'm broke from paying my dues. Cause when you got nine lives, you got nine ways. Nine lives will roll snake eyes again and again And maybe this time I roll me a lucky ten Cause I'm a blues cat Got nine pages of bad news Yeah, when you got nine lives Then you got nine ways to lose Nine ways to lose You're wasting my time. Drink your coffee. Milk, milk, where's the milk? 
Oh, thanks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. We have lift off. Good morning, John. <laughs> Well, at least things can't get any worse. I'm going to go down to the mall and tap dance in my underwear with a balloon animal tied to my head and a pineapple in each hand. Yuck! This coffee's too weak. What's going on here? Hey! Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Joshua Alexander. I'm an artist. I work in many multiple mediums, and I like to experiment a lot. This series here is an experiment. I've done a few in this series, obviously including this one, but also this was my first one here, then this was the second one, and then while I was working on the Garfield, I also was working on this Mario and Luigi here as well. Anyway, the reason why I decided to create this one on camera as opposed to the other ones is because Garfield, or Garblefield as I've named him, copyright, although this doesn't really avoid it, <laughs> is because Garblefield has a special place here on my channel, mostly in my vlogs. And it actually started way before I even did anything on YouTube, thanks to my brother, Jakoda. I'll put a link to his stuff uh, in the description so you can check out his art. But anyway, years ago, we were in construction together. And as we were walking trusses, I think when we were blocking them together, we were up in the air at the peak, blocking things together. And as we were getting uh, blocks hand-bombed to us, he decided to draw a Garfield head. And he's done that on a lot of things. In fact, actually, I can show you. He even did that here on my easel wall. He drew a Garfield head, among other things, uh, which I think is hilarious. And so ever since I saw him do that, I basically, I stole it from him. I just thought it was humorous and funny. And so in every single construction project I've done, there is a Garfield or Garblefield scribble somewhere on it. And since I do it and he does it, who knows in the future, people doing demo or whatever, although our projects are pretty sound, uh, there would be no reason to demo unless you're going to do a rebuild of something completely different. But that's besides the point. If they happen to find these Garblefields or Garfields drawn on everything, they might wonder what the heck it means. In any case, it's funny, and I've borrowed it from him. Anyway, that is why I decided to paint this one on camera. It's an experimental series, uh, so I could have just chosen any of them. Uh, this one was my first one. Like, it would have made sense to do this one, especially now that Steamboat Willie is in the public domain. But I was like, that, I don't... Ah. I'm just, I'm just messing around. I'm currently uh, preparing for an art show here in April 2024. And uh, so I was just like, okay, I have this idea. I want to do it right now. And I decided not to film it. And then I did the, the this other one here. And I was like, well, I, yeah, I don't feel like filming this one either. And then since I'm preparing for this show, uh, I went through a bunch of old works had this coffee cup uh, piece, and I was like, oh, I could revamp that, do something with that. I think I actually painted that maybe back in 2015 or something like that. I can't really remember. I like that concept, as I said at the beginning of the video, and I'll probably revisit it, but I just really wanted to do a uh, garble field. I don't know why, but... I didn't have any new canvases, so I was like, okay, that's the one. I'm going to sacrifice that and make this piece. And although this is very, very niche, and I totally understand that, I love it. It's the perfect amount of weird, but it came from my head, so maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs>
This is not going to be everybody's cup of joe, and I'm fine with that. I feel like a lot of artists paint themselves into a corner uh, with the anticipation that the audience that they've uh, gathered expects a certain something from them. And I don't really want to do that to myself, at least not to the degree that I have. I'm pretty free and open. Those of you who are following my Instagram know that this show that I'm preparing for is going to have some weird art. Hold that thought for a second. So like 10 years ago or 11 years ago, something like that, my uh, one brother saw one of my paintings, one of my other brothers, and he was like, you need to make that a series. But then... I kind of never painted a second one until a couple months ago. And here's a work in progress that I'm currently uh, trying to figure what I should do next. Uh, but this series here is what this show is uh, meant to unveil, if you will. Uh, each piece is going to depict space in some sort of way. Uh, like in this example, they're floating out in space like the original from years ago as an astronaut and he's losing his hot dog lunch, which is a second element that each piece will depict in some sort of way. I, I know it's weird. <laughs> and so if you liked the weirdness that you saw created here today in this video, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to call this series Fairweathered Friends. It's going to encompass cartoons and different characters from my generation's childhood and probably older as well. Maybe because if you're like me and you grew up with older siblings, you, you had uh, a lot of exposure to, to older like pop culture and such. And so I'll probably, I don't know how many I'm going to do in this series. I'll probably, this will probably be an ongoing series, uh, but I'll probably do a few more here and there. At the show, I, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five. That's pretty good. These are going to be displayed separately from the space ones, but they're going to be at the same show. Uh, it's a big enough gallery to, to show a lot of different work there. In the meantime, if you like this weirdness of any of them, I'm going to be making this series uh, open and limited edition prints available for everyone to get, I have a link in the description on how to do that. And then all of the originals will be at my art show at Sterling Gallery in Edmonton, Alberta in April 2024. Coming up very soon. I have a lot of works that I'm working on. Not all of them are this niche. A lot of them are what you may be used to seeing from me if you follow me here or on my Instagram. So please go follow my Instagram and subscribe here for any updates. There's This is gonna be a cool show. Like, this is a work in progress, but doesn't that already look awesome? I actually don't really know what I'm doing on there. That's not really classic Josh. This is more classic Josh. That, and that is more classic Josh. And here's a work in progress classic Josh. Oh, there's a work in progress for the space one. More, that's super classic Josh. That's like in my first year of painting. And then I got, you know, some other pieces. This is another hot dog one. Those, of course, which I was just talking about for way too long. Look at those hot dogs. Look at the Mario and Luigi. An example of older than, than my generation type stuff. Anyway, if you want to see all this stuff, please come to the show or I will also be making a vlog about it. Uh, as well. I'm just grabbing some footage from uh, the computer for this video and here's my real life Garfield's butt. Actually his name is Archie, but I thought he belonged in the video, so here he is. Oh, what an exciting announcement. He'll probably be on the news tonight. <laughs>